Hi, what's up, YouTubers? So I just got back from watching uh, Zootopia. So I know it's a little bit late. Uh, the movie came out a few weeks ago. I, I do believe the reason why I never watched it or review it is because I don't watch animations in theater like that. I usually just buy them when it comes out on Blu-ray, and I keep them as a collection. So, however, for this movie. The reason why I was in theater to watch it was because of my niece. She told me it was really good and all her friends told her that it was really good. So we went out to watch the movie together tonight. And I gotta tell you, it is one of the best animation I have ever seen. You know, and that includes um, Inside Out, which I love so much. But this, oh man. So let's get to it. So Zootopia is, is a film about animals who live like they were human right and and it's funny because they recognize that they are animals that they have predators and prey, and they have they have their own anim animalistic instincts so in the beginning of the movie it was really cute right it was one of the most adorable opening that i have ever seen in animation is um they have a bunny uh i do believe it was a tiger and uh, they were playing this scenario where back in the day like thousands of years ago like the tiger would have eaten the bunny but nowadays they are working together they live together in harmony but still with the with the play there was tiny little bunny and tiny little tigers and they were going Arr, you know but uh the way they play it out is just so adorable man it's great it was funny you got kids bring them to watch this movie with you they would love you for it surprisingly right even though it started out very cute and innocent and childish by the time the end of the movie came about man it was so deep and it was so satisfying to watch it hit so many layers like i i, I took some notes and the movie is so complex it dealt with bullies stereotype corrupted politics and racism and it's in the children's film and i'm telling you that the themes are very upfront and in your face but but they do it in a way that it does not upset or corrupt younger children so as an adult you will watch it and you will feel every issues that is heading on but as a kid you would just love it you wouldn't even be affected by this in any negative way and that's that's great zootopia tells a story of this bunny right her name is judy hops so she wanted to be an officer a cop and everybody makes fun of her and laugh at her because bunnies aren't so they are not tough you know they they are bunnies they're cute and adorable they're not made out to be you know militaristic or to be a police officer and that is her dream but one of her arch nemesis is a fox right when she was younger there's this bully in her town and he's a fox and then she wants to grow up to fight people like him so her parents are not supportive of her like at all and it's just so funny there's a line in the movie when they're like oh baby it's so great that you have dreams just don't follow them and i was cracking up so hard so um <clears throat> but she did grow up to become uh, a police officer and she was at the top of the academy so she was great she beat everybody right so um there's a scene that i really love right the comedy in this movie is great by the way this film made me laugh the most in theater out loud so i'm, fa I'm fast forwarding a little bit but when she be became a, a cop and she she get to zootopia they are they are solving like a, a missing person case so she goes to the dmv and she wants a license plate you know ran through the computer to see you know where where it was last seen and and she goes to the dmv and and the people that the worst the animals the worst at the dmv are sloth and they are super slow right and the fastest guy in the dmv his name is flash because he's supposed to be like the, the fastest guy in there she she walks up to him and she was like um hi excuse me can you please 
uh, you know, run through this number. And then before she can finish, he was like, Hi, welcome to the DMV. So she goes to the, the CD, right? And one of the, the main characters that she bumped into is this guy named Nick Wilde. And he's a fox. So in the beginning, she was trying to be there for him. And, and you know, like, because everybody was looking down on him, you know, they think he's a fox and he's not to be trusted. So people were really picking on him. And she felt bad for him, you know. And he had a son with him. And he had a son with him. And so he was trying to buy ice cream from this elephant shop. And the elephants do not like him. So they try to kick him out. And she was there. She paid for the food. She was trying to be there for him. But things did not turn out the way it seems. So you gotta watch the movie. I don't want to spoil anything. But that whole scene with her and Nick Wilde and the Fox and how they met. And the chemistry that is sh shared between them. Is just so freaking funny and interesting in every way possible. On any level you can want to look at it. She shows up at the... The, the district, like the the, pre, the precinct that she's working at, right? And the chief of police looks down on her, right? So they have all these animals that's missing. And he's sending out all these guys and they're all buff. They're like a bunch of like tigers and lions and rhinos and buffalo, right? And then wildebeests and they're all going out to search for the, the missing animals. And for Judy, she's, she's like a nobody and he looks down on her. And he, he sends her to like write tickets. <clears throat> but like I said, she ran to the, the fox and then her story started to like become really interesting. Uh, the, the thing that I really want to touch upon in this movie is that it did everything right. Right? Um, one of the, the pet peeves that I have with Disney films or just <clears throat> like children's film in general is that they force not force but they almost always have some kind of romance in them and in this movie her relationship with the fox right is very much platonic so no no romance was forced anything like that and i get a sense that they are really good friends so even you know i'll take it a step further and say they're like brother and sister to each other by the end of the movie and i really like that <clears throat> there's something about me that feels like Every time you have romance in the film, especially in like animation, you take away from the female characters like a lot. You know, a damsel in distress, a princess, or just someone that needs protection or whatnot. In this movie, you don't feel that. You feel like she can stand up for herself and the guy that she's with, they are partners. Right? If they ever do get together, you know, in like a sequel or something like that, you feel like, yeah, they partners, they add to each other's life. So it's not like he's taking over and he's trying to like, you know, save her and she needs him. You know, it's none of that stuff. You know, the characters were very strong and I like that a lot. You know, it's, it sends out a great message, to be honest, that everybody's an individual. Not like in a lot of romance where one person just kind of overshadowed the, the other and the other person is like vulnerable and kind of needs protection and whatnot. So that was great. So if you want something that is very satisfying and entertaining and is so funny and you're gonna have a great time and then come out with something to take home with you uh it just this movie is great for that um and remember watching a bunch of animals living as though they were human but still have the animal instincts is one of the most hilarious concepts you can ever watch on film and um you will love this movie i love it i would give it five out of five